In this video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and edit a Word document that you upload to Moodle at any time from your computer without having to delete it from Moodle. Typically, when you upload a Word document or a PDF to Moodle, you are not able to edit to that document on the website, which makes it a bit of a challenge and a burden if you, the faculty member, at some point need to make a correction, fix a typo, or perhaps change some of the questions on a homework assignment. So I have a homework assignment right here on my desktop that I would like to upload to Moodle, but I would like the flexibility of being able to change and edit this file at any time from my computer uh, very easily. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Google Drive. Now I'm going to assume that you already have Google Drive installed on your computer. If you do not, all you need to do is simply go to Now, in order for this to work, you're going to need two things. You are going to need to have a Google account and Google Drive installed on your computer. Now, I'm not going to go through the process of getting a Google account. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can look it up very easily on the Internet. Um, and I'm not going to also walk you through the process of installing Google Drive. You can just actually go to Google and type in download Google Drive and get the app and install it on your computer and uh, log into your Google account. Once you do that, what's going to happen is Google Drive will install a folder on your computer that will allow you to access any folders or files that you have on your Google Drive. Now, I have my Google Drive folder for Moodle uh, open on my computer right here, okay, but it's completely empty right now. And I also have it open on my desktop, so I'm going to go to Faculty Workshop click on Moodle. So this folder right here is exactly what is up on Google Drive. Okay, so my goal at this point is to take this Word document and uh, upload it to Google Drive and then embed it into Moodle so that I am able to at some point edit and modify this document from my computer without any hassle. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the homework assignment or the Word document that you want to upload to Moodle and you can either drag and drop it into this folder or you can drag and drop it onto your Google Drive um, through the web browser whichever option works best for you. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it right here on Google Drive on the browser and if you go back to the folder you'll notice that the file is also synced automatically with that folder. Okay. All right, so the next thing that we need to do here is this file is only available or accessible to you, the owner of the file in the Google account. I need to basically make it shareable so that my students can access it. And to do that, what you're going to do is right click, select share. You can click on it over here or you can select the share option over here. I'm gonna click on share, click on advanced, and right now, only I can see the um, file. What you want to do is click on Change and change the option from Off Specific People to On Anyone with the Link. This will make anybody who has a link to that file be able to download it or view it. Uh, the access level, since you only want people to see the file and download it, you can just leave it at Can View. Um, you don't want to change it to comment or edit at this point. You can just leave it as is. Click Save. And Google will generate a link to that file. Right click on it, copy it, and you can click on Done. You'll notice that there is an icon that appears now next to the document that has two people next to it or to the image of two heads. And that basically indicates that the file is now shared. What you need to do at this point is go to your Moodle course where you want that Word document file to appear. Turn editing on. I'm going to scroll down to week one of my course. Click on add an activity or resource and select the URL option. Click add. And I'm going to call this homework 
CHP 5 since this is a homework assignment from chapter 5. You can add a description if you want to and you can choose to make the description available or appear on the page where you post the assignment link on. I'm going to leave it unchecked and this is where you want to paste the link that you copied from Google Drive. save and return to course and this should add the link that we just added to Moodle. Alright now let's go ahead and test this link and see what happens. If I click on it it should open up the homework assignment that I uploaded. Students can view this document, they can download it and once they download it they can edit it on their computer but they cannot edit it on my drive. Okay now let's say that um, you notice that there's a mistake or an error or let's say that you want to modify something on this file but you don't want to go through the hassle of pulling it off of Moodle, deleting it and then changing the document on computer and then uploading it. You don't have to do any of that with Google Drive since the file is already on Google Drive. What we're going to do is we will go to Google Drive on our computer. I will locate the file there it is and I will open it on my computer and let's say that I would like to change let's go ahead and make this a little bit larger let's say that I just want to change the color of the font to red and maybe highlight this particular description just for demonstration purposes. Perhaps I have other mistakes or changes that I want to make. Um, go ahead and make all of your changes on the Word document that is on your Google Drive. Save it. And once you've saved the file, it should automatically be synced with your drive on Google Drive and also be reflected on Moodle Rooms. So you'll notice that the original file was all in black text and now it's got the red text and the yellow highlight going to close this since I've already saved it and I'm going to refresh my Moodle course and I'm going to click on this link and see whether the font color has changed on this document and there we go I made a change on my desktop on my computer and it automatically changed the document on Moodle if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to be notified as soon as we release another video if there's something specific that you would like to learn, please post your request below this video in the comment section. Thank you for watching.